Stratasys has just unveiled three brand new 3D printers designed for what they call Additive Manufacturing 2.0, which essentially means it's a fancy term for end-use parts built on 3D printers. So, even though their machines are typically advertised and used for prototyping, Stratasys has said that these new machines will address a sizable chunk of the multi-billion dollar end-use parts 3D printing market. Now, the first printer they unveiled is the new Stratasys Origin 1. Now, if that sounds kind of familiar, that's because this printer is the byproduct of their recent acquisition of 3D printing startup Origin. Now, the Origin 1 makes use of their proprietary P3 technology, essentially a fancy and ultra-precise photopolymerization method, much like SLA, DLP, or those carbon printers we love to see. Now, Stratasys also made a surprise announcement with their new software-first architecture, which means the printer can fabricate parts using a variety of open certified third-party materials. Stratasys and third-party materials in the same sentence? Uh, this is new, okay. Uh, the company estimates the Origin 1 has a $3.7 billion market opportunity by 2025 for applications like dental, medical, automotive, tooling, and consumer goods. Stratasys is taking orders for the new machine and post-processing equipment starting next month. Moving on to the next unveiling, we have the first of the H-series production platforms, the H350, using their SAF technology. Now, the H350 is a powder bed fusion style printer designed for full volume production. GrabCAD Print also works directly with the new H350 to monitor prints, estimate cost and print time, get printing reports, and much more. They uh, also unveiled their brand new high yield PA 11 or nylon 11 material made of 100% bio base from sustainably grown castor beans. Going green, I suppose, too. This is great. Now, the new system has been in beta testing since the beginning of this year, with several contract manufacturers and service bureaus in Israel, Europe, and the US. The H350 is expected to ship by the third quarter of 2021. Now, finally, the third printer Stratasys debuted today is the F770, slotting between the F370 and F900 lines of FDM printers. Starting off with the build volume, the F770 sports an impressive 13 cubic feet of print volume, or about 1,000 by 610 by 610 millimeters. Now, the F770 also comes with what Stratasys calls the market's longest fully heated build chamber, perfect for printing jigs and fixtures, tooling applications, and prototypes. Now, this new printer was designed for large prints, first and foremost, and surprisingly, costs less than $100,000. Now, we'll see if it does high temp stuff, too, for that price. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know which of these Stratasys releases are you most excited about. Personally, I think the SAF, seeing them get into powder bed, is pretty cool. Make sure you hit that like button. helps us out a lot. And subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Until then, have a positive rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.